Tonight's installment of Creepy Cheapies is brought to you by Edgar Allan Poe's Antidepressant, the product that makes no claims whatsoever with regard to whether or not it will actually work. Thank you. Uh, tonight on Creepy Cheapies, or Dr. Lady's Affordable Mask Pick of the Week, with me, your host, Barney Rubble, I'd like to recommend something called Dead Awake. That's right, Dead Awake. Not Dead Alive, but Dead Awake. And, you know, as far as I know, there isn't a movie called Dead Awake, but maybe there is. It almost seems like that would be a movie by now, now that I think of it. If I was more prepared for these things, I would have looked that up on the IMDb before I started doing this. But I didn't, so what are you going to do? Um, if there's not a movie called Dead Awake, there should be. And I'll bet there is by the time you're watching this. And I'll bet it's about zombies, and I'll bet it's just awful. But I'll bet it doesn't have anything in it as cool as this mask, Dead Awake from Horror Dome. Now Horror Dome came out with Dead Awake in time for the uh, 2012 Halloween season and as you can probably tell it's uh, inspired by a character from Evil Dead 2. So if you're a fan of Evil Dead 2, and there's no reason you shouldn't be a fan of Evil Dead 2 really, uh, you should like this and you should own one of these very cool Evil Dead 2 looking guy masks from Horror Dome called Dead Awake, which sells for in the neighborhood of sixty to seventy dollars, uh, which is I think well worth it. You get a very generous bib here, excellent quality casting, nice nice thickness. Uh, there is a slit up the back to make it wearable, and a very detailed paint job. Now this is not a hundred percent accurate uh, uh, as a recreation of makeup uh, the monster from Evil Dead 2. This is not an exact, okay, it's not precisely every little thing like these wounds and splits and things are, are sort of uh, altered, but, but it certainly has that overall look. And even if you are not familiar with that movie or your audience doesn't know that movie, it's scary, right? It's a scary mask, so it's cool anyway. So, uh, not, not happy with that hair. I'm not sure what they were going for with the white streaks on the top knot like that. But again, 60, 70 bucks for a great mask like this. Stop complaining. You can, you can work with it a little and, you know. Uh, what I might do is, is have uh, Laura Lady, my long-suffering um, partner in crime wife, uh, maybe work on the hair and add some hair and, I don't know, maybe, maybe alter it a little bit. But what a great mask. It's got uh, eye holes trimmed below the eyes right there and it's got these very shiny, glossy, uh, dead pale yellow eyes and as you can see he's got about three rows of teeth and entirely too many teeth. Excellent depth. Uh, a lot of masks look uh, masky from the side sort of because everything's flat. Not this guy. This guy has outstanding depth and realism to the mouth as I think you can see. The teeth have depth. Uh, very natural, very realistic looking. And by the way, what I've got him on here, this is just, you, you know what this is, students? Sure you do. This is just a uh, plastic beef jerky jar. Now if you have like a convenience store, like a 7-Eleven or a UDF or uh, any gas station convenience store, sometimes they sell uh, beef jerky right there on the counter in these plastic jars. But just like this. And very often those plastic jars, uh, they're shipped new plastic jars of beef jerky every time they get a new shipment in and they a lot of times throw these plastic jars away. Ask your local convenience stores to save these for you because they make dandy mask stands. That with the little uh, paper stuffed in the top of the mask. And now I haven't done this to this one, but what I normally like to do, and I will undoubtedly do to this one shortly, I like to weight them a little bit. I like to mix up a little plaster and just pour it in the bottom. Just, uh, you know, maybe somewhere in there, about that high, about that much. Just enough so it's a little bottom heavy, so it doesn't want to topple over when you got the mask on there. And if you don't have uh, plaster, around your house that you can mix up. Anything that will give a little weight is fine. Uh, you might want to use um, a few handfuls of stones from your neighbor's driveway while he's at work. That'll work fine. Just something to give it a little weight at the bottom. Make it a little more steady. When you got your mask on it, like Dead Awake from Horror Dome. That's it for this week. Go do something productive now.